it is what it is. I'm ready to get started with the intro soon. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? So we just gonna wait a little bit. Um, um, y'all seen on the flyer, we gonna have a think tank with RJ Harris. He's from uh, he's from this side, Anamundo County. Um, he had... Yeah, so he uh he played for the Falcons for a little bit, played for the Saints for a little bit with Drew Brees. And he's right now uh he's out there in the CFL. And so, you know, we're gonna hear a little bit about him. Let me run a little bit of his highlights and you know, just give you a um you know, just give you a visual of who we talking about. So like I said, this is RJ Harris for everybody who's joining in right now. What's up, Sean? I see you. RJ, he uh he went to Arundel. He actually holds the um Maryland State touchdown record in a single season and for career rece- like receiving touchdowns. This him with Drew Brees, training camp. What's up, Mario? I see you. Uh, New Hampshire. If y'all seen on the um on the flyer, I think it. Uh, let me see. I wrote it down. Uh, four thousand two hundred thirty-eight receiving yards. He's second in all time in conference history. That's the New Hampshire is colonial at colonial. I think something like that. I believe. This right here. When they come for me, they ain't no love for me. Let me meet this though, because I got the Wayne running. You know what I'm saying? We gon' we gonna run with the Wayne. So for everybody who's joining in, um, like I said, on the flyer, we meet with RJ Harris. He went to Arundel University of New Hampshire. A wide receiver in the CFL right now for the uh, Ottawa Red Blacks. That's the highlight that's playing right now. He got five school records. In terms of um, receiving, receiving the football over at Rundle, 2010 graduate, so, yeah, like, this highlight is deadly, though. I like this one right here. Go up and get it. That's catching it at the highest point. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that, um, you know, you want to go to the next level, you got to do the little things. My man tripped him though. That's crazy. <laughs> so seven thirty. That's when I'm on. Um, we're gonna go live, but I just kind of wanted to show y'all a little bit about who we who we about to meet with. You know. I hope y'all doing good. Quarantine, quarantine ready. Thank you for you know tuning in, trying to get this insight, man.
TV shows, man, the sports and the ESPN news, party interrupt shit. Boom. Around the horn, um, quite frankly. What's up, what's up? I see y'all. Outside the lines, uh, uh, baseball tonight. You know what I mean? I watch sports, dog. And basically, that's what I'm trying to say. I watch sports, man. That's what I'm into. Sports, 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 every sport. The hockey, golf, basketball, football, of course. Baseball. You know what I mean? I got a favorite team, a favorite player in every single sport. I'm not going to answer those questions. Let's go. Yeah. That's the man without the man. That was my fault. Shut the boogie, bro. Three, four, three, two. I see you. Cut it off. I'm just going to go. What's up, what's up, Leon, what's up, Tang? Um, I, I want football season to, to run through. I think that it should. But at the end of the day, it's like, you know, you can't really uh put no timeline on it. That's the thing. Like, at this point, the best thing that we got to do is we got to stay ready. You know what I'm saying? Allen Iverson, he told Lou Williams, he told the media, who, you know, I watched the interview or whatever. So he told me, you know, stay ready so, you you know, you don't got to get ready. You always ready. So, Sean, to answer your question, I would say that for you, especially since you about to take that next level, you know what I mean? You should already be knocking out, you know, 5,000 push-ups a day. You know what I'm saying? Lunges, all that. Get your hands right. You know what I'm saying? Even working, you know, them, them you know, just, just working different, you know, different parts of your body, d- the details, man. That's what you need to be doing. Um, but, you know, RJ, he going to let you know, though. So, like I said... At this point, <clears throat> I'm sorry. Let me just get my stuff together over here. I'm trying to just clean my stuff up. All right, but so at this point, um, you know, RJ's in here, so we about to go ahead and get started real soon. And, you know, RJ, I kind of gave him an introduction, but when you get on here, you know, you, I want you to, you know, explain a little bit about what's going on. Yeah, I'm about to run with this jump. Next. You are watching a master at work. You're watching a master at work. Hey, bro, I'm telling you, I got him, I got him in here for a reason. He's, he's going to give you some knowledge, like... He went to a run. We got five school records over there, two state records. Um, right here, see, I'm, I'm gonna ask him about this one though, because I don't, I, I just need him to clear that one up. But yeah, he got you though. Definitely nice. You see the highlights right here. So yeah, we're gonna see. Let me, um, let me invite a man. Here. My guy, oh, what's happening? What's up with you, man? man I'm cooling, fool. I'm cooling, bro. You all right? Man, I'm good, man. I'm good. So that's my live. How you got the video up there? Don't run it, though, bro. Yeah, bro. That's uh, you know, that's that's what I've been, you know, for the past like you know five minutes. I've just been giving them a little bit of um, just a little background. But okay. I want I want I want you to actually, you know, explain. You know, just, 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 uh, you know, your stats, your, your, your most, you know, I see you got five school records, but we don't know which ones they are. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. State ones. It said, it's like in the sun, it has 44 careers, but you know, I want you to explain all that. All right. Yeah. So shit. Uh, I'm Rondo, bro. You already know how I'm Rondo do, bro. We air it out. You know, that's spread right. on auto. And, uh, I was fortunate enough to play, like coming up, I was, behind some other all-state receivers. You know, Alec Lemon, right. Brandon Johnson Farrell, dudes right. like that. I got to watch them do it. So they they was breaking records, and I was young at the time. I was just leaving out right. of Fort Meade. You feel me? I was leaving out of Fort Meade, and they was doing their thing. So I'm like, 
all right, so now like now it's my time to step up and right. I done seen them do it, so now it's my turn. And I was I was able to play with Billy Cobbs. He was one of the top rated quarterbacks in the nation. You feel me? So yeah. he was he was slinging that thing. So I ended up, you know, I was going crazy, going crazy my senior year. Right. We uh we we fell short. We ain't make it we ain't make it to states, we ain't even make it out of the county. We lost the old mill. But and then, oh that was um that was the game where uh Josh, he had like four hundred something yards rushing, right? Josh went dumb, bro. Josh ran, for, he ran for four fourteen and six touchdowns. And that game, I had twenty catches for three hundred yards. Yeah, yeah. So that that, that was a state was record, right? That was a state record right there. Okay, word, word, word. That was one of the state records. That game. Oh, for yeah. real? That game, that game was crazy. That game, yeah. was, that joint. They said that was one of the top rated high school football games in Maryland, like ever, bro. Ever. That shit, I think it was 58 to 55. Yeah. It was a shootout, bro. Hand Josh the ball right. or, or throw me the ball. That's all we was doing. You right. feel me? But that shit, like you said, y'all was throwing, y'all was airing it out. Oh, yeah. Y'all was right. airing it out. And they, they defense really couldn't stop it. And every time they ran the ball, we was having some trouble stopping the run. So it came okay. down to who was going to have the ball last. Whoever had the ball last, that's who was going to win the game, man. Right. Old Mill had the ball. They kicked it, and that, that's what it came down to. So right. we kind of knew that you got that sense early in the first quarter. Like, we was going back and forth, back and forth. It was crazy. Right. right. Like I said, that game, though, that was one of the state records I had, uh, 20 catches in a single game. Okay. So that was one of the state records. And uh, the other state records, like you said, career touchdowns. Um, I had, I think it was 44. I had 44 career touchdowns. Right. Um. And mind you, so like I didn't play, I didn't play J, I played JV for two years, right. So a lot of dudes that they they was playing varsity for three, three years, four years. I only played my junior and senior year, so I did all I did all of that in two years. You feel me? So right, um, career That's work right there. That's what it is. You feel me? I was just working, yeah. bro. I wanted, I, like I said, I got to see Farrell and Lemon do it, and I'm like. Shit, if they can do it, you know what I mean? Like, that's what I want to do. I want to do the same thing. Why not? You feel me? Exactly. I, they they laid down the, you know what I mean? They laid down the groundwork for me. So I just had to step in and just just go out there and do my thing. And right, it worked out for me, bro. And uh, let me see. Single season catches. I got that record. Uh, okay. One, I believe it's, I forgot. I forgot the numbers off the top of my head, but it's, it's up there like one, 100, 100 plus. Yeah, that, that record. Is that Cause I, I'm looking at the numbers that I got, and I think they wrong, bro. But it's like it's like one fits one fifteen or something like that. But it's like I don't really know, bro. Yeah, no, nah, that's this, that's it. Cause I was going to say one thirteen. I had one fifteen okay. my my senior year, something like that. Okay, word word. Cause like like I said, my uh my numbers is say I see the forty four, but then it says twenty four for the single season. But then I also got twenty eight for your single season. So it's like that's why I was like, oh, clear that up for us. So, to be to be honest, bro, I do know I know for a fact that I had twenty eight my senior year. Okay, right. And I touched twenty plus. I touched twenty plus my junior year, so definitely that forty four is definitely a little short. They sold me short there. Okay, I'm closer to that fifty to mid fifty range, bro. Right, around all, there, around all, there. All American for real, straight up Anne Arundel County legend for real. That's really that's numbers for real, truly, bro. Yeah, for sure, bro. I appreciate it. And like I said, bro, I was just fortunate enough to be in a good situation, bro. And I got to do it in two years, bro. A lot of my a lot of the dudes who did it before me, no knock yeah. to them. They like I said, I look up to them boys. Farrell, Lemon, like they laid the groundwork for me. But I wanted to I wanted to break what they did. They was doing it. I'm like, man, I'm trying to break it and I right. don't want it to be touched. Like once right. I set this. It's a wrap. It's not going to yeah. be touched for a little while. You feel me? So that that was my goal in the whole hey, thing. I'm telling you, there's uh there's a couple dudes in here right now in this live right now that is yeah. they they up there. They trying to work on what you what you've already set, but you know, tell them again. So Yo, they listen. This this is my thing. So in high school, I know it's tough. Like it's it's tough to separate yourself in right. high school. It's hard because you always want to. You, you finding yourself, you with your boys, y'all always trying to kick it. But one thing that I did that separated me, like you can ask any of my boys, I'm still cool with them boys to this day. I didn't mind, I didn't mind separating myself. Like I was hitting the group message, like I'm ready to go get this work. If y'all trying to pull up, if not, 
I'm not going to not do it because y'all not coming with me. I'll go out there dolo right. and get that work. And that's how you yeah. gotta separate yourself. Like it's it's how many people playing high school football around the around the US? You feel me? Hey. What's what's going to separate you? You know what I mean? What's your right. edge? And I found my edge. My edge was my work ethic. And right. For everybody is it's something different. Somebody edge might be their speed, somebody might be their height. But I didn't I wasn't blessed with either one of those. I didn't have the speed and I didn't have the height. So right. now how can I compete with them dudes that had I that had that? And all I had to do was work, just working. I work them. I'm a, I'm a, I'll work you. It don't matter. You can line anybody up against me, bro. Like it's gonna be hard to I'm I'm going. I'm gonna work, bro. And hey bro, I'm telling you. I mean, you kinda touched on it earlier, but it's like, you know, I'm gonna bring you back for a second for real. Yeah. You know okay. Saying? Yes, sir. So <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> you know, I just had to bring you back. But hold on, I got you. Boom. Ah, look at that. 59, fool. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> yeah, you know I mean. And it's like you you said it though, bro. I literally I I watch you. I mean, now it's like I don't remember, I don't I don't actually remember really talking to you too much in high school after I remember I played you, I scrimmaged y'all. Mm -hmm. That that freshman year we scrimmage y'all, but then after that we ain't even really talk like that too much. You know what I mean, right. but it's, it, the fact of the matter is, me and you, we literally I seen where you where you then came from, and I seen where the grind can take you. you know what I mean, yeah, so sure, bro. the grind you know, it, it'll carry you places, bro. And that that shit right there, that picture there, bro. That that's a I'm gonna send it bro. to you. I'm gonna yeah, send, send me that, bro. That's yeah. That's back in the day, bro. I remember your pops was out there. I remember we had the game in the cold, bro, and it was like. It had to be about 30 degrees. We was young boys, and that, that water, bro, was so cold out there, and you had fell into that puddle, bro, and your hands, bro. Oh, I yeah. remember that. You was going crazy, bro. Your right. Hands Couldn't so feel bad. nothing. <laughs> Running right. back, bro. Couldn't feel nothing. Like Hell yeah, bro. I remember that. Yes, yeah, son. But, um, you know, just you know, just giving them, like, a, a perspective of this is somebody that's literally from the area that we from, you know what I mean? Uh, right. the, you know the brand that I got uh, is figures, and I basically been the campaign is strong, and the campaign is about everybody. You know, everywhere that we go, we kind of um, you know, we just we just expanding, and it's it is. I mean, I don't know if you've seen the captions, videos, etc., so forth, but they know what I'm talking about. And when I bring people in this live, it's because these are the people that I consider are figures. You know what I'm saying? So right. you know. That that's that's my uh you know my kudos to you bro like you you done paved the way, I mean even your records are still in place like I got the, I got two uh with three track records still at Spalding right now so I know exactly I, what you're talking I seen about. that I seen the picture you had posted the other day that's live bro. yeah bro. that's major bro do you but know what I mean you can always have your hand in the in the county bro anytime you come back your yeah, name's I mean, still up there still gonna ring bells exactly but just how you said though bro like. I when I when I was out there, bro. See, I didn't get to run my senior year in terms of like the outdoor, like when it's supposed to happen. Like I didn't had like behavioral issues, et cetera, so forth. However, it's like you know by solidifying those numbers, solidifying just a, a benchmark, like you said, you know, I, I wanted to be like, hey, you you gonna have to work if you want this. I mean, right. so right. you know, diving back into uh, you know talking about you know think tank and stuff like that what what's uh you know um the differences between playing out here and then in the cfl for i mean this is international ball at this point yeah you know i mean so i would say the biggest i mean obviously it's a couple of rule differences you feel me we play in the cfl we play with 12 people on the field nfl right. they play with 11 uh nfl you nobody can be moving when the ball is snapped CFL, we get the run and start. You feel me? Right. So, like, those are the two main biggest differences. But what people fail to realize, bro, is CFL football, it's some it's some talented dudes up there. Everybody yeah. thinks everybody yeah. thinks like they going to – you get released from the NFL, you go to the CFL for a year, you're going to snap, get some film, and come straight back to the NFL. But that that's rarely the case, bro. It's, it's hard, right. bro, because it's, it's some talented dudes up there. You feel me? And right. – once I got up there, I had to, I had to change my mindset a little bit because I went up there thinking I'm a straight. You know, I've been in the league for a year already, and I'm like, I'm gonna go up here, and I'm gonna kill, and I'm going straight back to the NFL. And I got up there, and I I got released. For, I got released by three teams before I actually got picked up by one. And then when oh. I did get picked up by Ottawa, I was on practice squad for a full year. Didn't even get to play in the game. Okay, you feel me? so it's like that's that's a humbling experience. You feel me? Right. So 
to be yeah. snapping in high school. I go to college. I was snapping. You know, I've always been that guy, like that number right. one guy. And then now I'm in the professional level, and I I can't even make a practice squad. So that, that that's humbling. But really, for me, like I said, it's just back to the drawing board, bro. What do I got to do now? Now that I just got to I got to dig deeper and just work harder. I got to yeah. How go you back work to that next level? Exactly. Right. What's going What's going to set me apart from? What's keeping me from? You know, making that team and. I had to find that within myself. And once I found that, I was able to, you know what I mean? I found it, and now I'm four years in. Yeah. You feel me? Four okay. years in. Yeah. Still, still balling, bro. It's a blessing for sure. Yeah, man. And it's like I was showing them a little bit about the tape. I'm actually running that for y'all again just a little bit. um, Because the beginning, bro, like, and I, I think I had texted you about this, bro. Like, this this really showed where your age is too, though, bro. When you score for real. And then you right. hit him with the, how oh, do you answer? Yeah, yes, bro, bro, like, I, uh, right there, hit, hold on. Yeah, right there, bro. I like that, you know what I'm saying? Then it's like, that's, that. um, you know, you not only, you not only <laughs> playing the game and you working hard and it's like you at the highest level, but at the end of the day, it's like you still having fun with it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's a so, blessing, bro. It's a game. Like, you just showed that picture, bro, from back and forth me, bro. And now, what's that, 15? I don't even know how many years later, bro, I'm fortunate enough to still be playing a game, and the game that I'm playing is my job. You yeah. Know? So, like, it's truly a blessing, and I'm I'm playing a game for work. You know what I mean? Like, a game that I play is my job. It feeds my family. It keeps my daughter keeps my daughter fed. So, right. like I said, bro, it's a blessing, and it's just – it all started back to to that, that grind, that work ethic, bro. I was just trying to outwork everybody because I knew where I wanted to be at. I was able to see. I was able to see at such a young age. It's hard to believe, but at such a young age, I knew where I wanted to be at. Right. And some of the stuff that I had to sacrifice and give up to get there. You know what I mean? It, it was worth it because some of the. You know what I mean? Like, who cares? Some of the stuff I gave up in high school. It's exactly. not even close to what I get the experience now. Living, like you said, I'm in. A, I'm in another country. Well, not right now. I'm in Maryland, but I play in another country. You feel me? Right. Like, that's, and a, that's an experience. Yeah. Truly. And like you say, you know, just going from what? Uh, I don't even know how old we was. I was trying to find the dates on that picture, but I just couldn't find it. I don't know what pound. You know, they do the Little League different now. It's by age and all that. So I think we might have been 115 at that time or 125 or something like that. Okay. So Maybe. so it was like 12 or something like that? 11, 12. 11, 12. What, what are you in fifth or sixth grade? Sixth, seventh grade. I don't know. I mean, that. Ben MacArthur, bro, like, that's what yeah. we were in the, uh, the Seven Oaks Dunkin' Donuts in the morning. No, oh, man, I'm already knowing. Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 Bro. Yeah. yeah. So, so I'm, we got to be about 11 or 12. So, shoot, I'm 27 now. 15 years, bro. Exactly, bro. And that's, and that's, that's something that I just want, I just want people to know because, I mean, somebody came to me, you know, they, they asked me about discipline, uh, patience, et cetera, so forth. And, you know, you kind of said that, uh, just going from the man. Now you at a point where, all right, I got, I got a, I got a humble experience, but now I'm back on top. But the thing is, you never lost the, the love and the fun for the game, and yeah. you know that that that's something that you know. I mean, I think that they can appreciate that everybody can, you know. Oh, for sure, bro. It 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 ain't no. It's not an easy journey. Like that's not why I'm here to tell anybody in this live. Like right. there's gonna be some stuff that you go through on the way, bro, that's just, like, it's going to challenge you for real. Like, it's really going to be challenging. And it's just, how, how do you overcome? And right, I was able I was able to overcome. Like I said, I locked in at a young age, 12, 13, that I knew that it was – nothing was going to stop me. You know what I mean? Okay. Nothing was going to – the only thing that was going to stop me was going to be myself. Like, I was going to be the only reason that I stopped. And – it it came to a point after I kept getting released by the Saints, I got released by the Falcons, you know, I was on practice squads, I was bouncing around. It came a point where I, I almost I almost quit. I almost hung him up. I was like, this, you know what I mean? Like maybe this isn't for me, but I just had to take some time to reflect and I said, you know, I didn't come this far just to come this far. You feel yeah. me? I didn't come this far just to keep getting released and hang him up. Like I can't go out like that. So Yeah. Back to the drawing board, bro. How can I? Back to work. That's all I can say. Back to work. Yeah. You know what I mean? And now it's like, now you autographing the pictures. You know, th you know this is on eBay, right? 
That bitch is? Yeah. You see what I'm saying, bro? That's, that's you know what I mean. I remember when I was young, bro, trying to buy other dudes' cars. Now my now my card on eBay, bro. It's a blessing. Like it's that's not the NFL, right. but to me, bro, that's that's big time, bro. And I, I that's it's a true. blessing for real. Yeah, bro. And it's like um, I don't know which game it was because this was this was when you was with the Saints. My dad, he went to I think it was a preseason game. Y'all played the Ravens. Okay, yeah, Ravens. Right yeah. down, right down in uh in Baltimore. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, my pops, he went to that game, so. For real? Yeah, 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 he was there. That's, that's major, bro, yeah. That's crazy how my first professional game, you feel me? I'm I'm all the way in New Orleans. I'm with the Saints, and my first professional game is at the crib. Yeah. And, exactly. and, and you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's a blessing yeah. for real, bro. I didn't have a, I ain't had a best game. I ain't had, <laughs> I ain't have a good game for real. I had a couple penalties. I had a drop, but. I had showed enough in practice that they was like, all right, we're going to keep them around, give them another opportunity. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, in reality, the fact that the manager is like, yo, like you said, bro, like, it's been such a journey that, you know, it's um, it, it's a continuous thing, you know. You, uh, you know, you hit one point, you got to go to the next point, you got to go to the next point. So for this one, um, y'all camp is about to start, right, in terms of for Ottawa? So it it was, but like I can't supposed to start May seventeenth. Okay, that was the plan. But with everything going on, bro, you know they don't they don't shut down the Canadian and American borders, whatever. So yeah. they 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 pushed everything back until we the earliest we can start is July. So we we just okay. on hold for for a little bit longer, bro. So like, what's your what's your mental like in terms of like I mean just. I guess right now, but really when you're getting closer to like to getting back into work, like what's your mental gonna be like? I mean, it can happen at the it can happen at the drop of the dime. You feel me? Like they can call me and be, hey, they open the borders. We are gonna start camp. Like come come next week. You feel me? So right, I'm just I'm staying ready. You know what I mean? Like I don't want to get that call and be like ass. Now I gotta get get it together. Like I'm I'm ready now. Like if they call, I'm ready. So like. Right. That's that's just my mindset. Like until they say it's no season, I'm out here training. I'm grinding every day. You know, right. best I can. You know, gyms are closed, but I'm just at I'm just at home at the crib doing home workouts. You feel me? I got some bands and some dumbbells. Got a little rope. And right. That's all I do just get it in in the front yard, bro. About forty minutes, and just I'm gonna be ready when we do get that call. And like I said, I, until they shut it down, I'm still I'm still at it every day. Right. How, how do you work on, like, your hands and stuff, like, just right now? Like, catching the passes every day. I got the, you know, I got a couple footballs, obviously. And I just get, I just get my girl. I get Tiff. Okay. She, just throw, she, throw, she stands on the deck because it's on the second story. And I right. stand on the ground down low. And she just throw them joints, bro, just, and I just throw it back up to her. Okay. So I'm able to catch passes. Like, it's really seeming like it's coming from a quarterback dropping in. You feel me? I can drop exactly. it over my shoulder to the – so, and – I'm only about, you know what I mean, 10 yards from her. She can't throw that far, but I'm right. getting my hands on the rock. You know what I mean? Some work is yeah. better than no and, work. Yeah, Even exactly. if I, don't, I can't get out with a quarterback, I still get my hands on the rock. You know, yeah. I'm, still, I'm still doing my sprints. I'm still training. So, and, yeah, and, I, uh, yeah, I just I just had to ask you that because um somebody, uh, his name is Sean for real. Sean, I hope you're still in here listening, man. Um, He's going to Maryland this upcoming, you know, this upcoming uh, season and so oh, yeah. literally, he had just asked me, "Do you think the season is gonna, you know, start and go on?" And it's like, man, I told him, "Look, stay ready." And so you know, you just solidified. So, that. You gotta stay ready, bro, because the worst thing you can do is if there is a season and after all this, and then you show up not ready, that's just you putting yourself in a hole, bro. So don't don't ever give them. I I never leave stuff like that in the hands of anybody. Like I don't. I don't leave that up to nobody to make that kind of decision on me. The decision right. you're going to make on me is because either I got it or I don't. You're not making a decision based on me not being prepared. Like, that's exactly. – that's that don't make sense. How you show up unprepared, you feel me? I'm going to be prepared. It just comes down – if somebody is better than me, I can live with that. I can't live with not being prepared. That's right. – I can't, I can't swallow that. Right. Yeah, not nah, that's real, man. I um I just uh I just had I just I knew that you was the right person, bro. It's like I just was getting a lot of, you know, different football questions. I just had Terrell on here as well. And you know, 
yeah, he was giving us, you know, some, uh, you know, different insight on um, using huddle, different, like, recruiting stuff. Um, sure. So, you know, I was like, man, let me get RJ on here. I know he's going to give us something good. And mainly, like I said, it was it was that it was uh you know the discipline and patience, bro. Like that's something that you know a couple people had asked me about that. So I definitely had to run that past you. For sure, bro. Patience is a it's hard, bro. I ain't gonna lie, it's hard. It's it's definitely hard. But I mean, 15 years in, bro. Like you said, and now now I'm here. And the thing, like I don't want people to, when I say I'm here, like. I ain't even really tap into to my next level yet. You feel me? Like I ain't complacent. Like I'm still trying to, I'm trying to take it to another level. You feel me? Like, cause there's some young dudes out there now that want to be where I'm at. You feel right. me? That want to take my spot, and I and I respect that because I I wanted to take somebody else's spot. So I just I gotta I gotta outwork you, bro. <laughs> you feel right. me? I can't let you get it. I gotta you gotta you gotta outwork me, bro. That's that's the way I see it. And truly, you feel so, me? So let me ask you this, um, and it's, it's crazy because it's a perfect segue into it. So you was actually supposed to have a camp out here as well. Yeah, right. Like, it was supposed so, to be. It was supposed to be tomorrow or Sunday. I'm sorry, it's supposed to be Sunday. Right. So I mean, we're gonna get a rain date on that. I'm assuming, right? Yeah. I mean, it's like I said, everything's up in the air, bro. Once they, once they clear, you know, the social gatherings and lift all that, and they say like, all right, y'all can have it. Then I'll know, obviously, what's going on with my season. Yes. And if they don't, if they don't conflict, then yeah, we're gonna run the camp. But if okay. it conflicts, you know what I mean. That's just something I gotta push back until next year. Okay. But I'm still I, gonna do it. I'm gonna have the camp. It's just a matter of when. Once they right. lift all this, all this right. stuff. Yeah, I mean, cause uh, there's there's some young dudes in here right now. It's from it's third grade to ninth grade. Third through ninth. Yep. Okay. Boys third. and girls, co-ed, bro. Okay. So let me ask you this though. So, um, I mean, you can register obviously, but what if you what if you have some guys that are in high school right now, say, uh, sophomores, juniors? Are they able to stop past and kind of just you know watch et cetera so forth? Like even all right, for example, I say like this, and I mean you know we could we could even I'm not trying to dictate your camp, you know this is all you, but yeah, if yeah, they yeah. tuned into this live. And they was like, yo, RJ, Coach Harris, yo, can I, you know, do some type of drill with you? I was tuning into your live, boom, boom, boom. What's up? Yeah. So for the camp, you know what I mean, just to keep it like my first year camp, you know, I wanted that age group. So that's right. what I'm going to stick with. But right. anybody that's down to work, bro, like, obviously we don't know where the camp is. But if you want to work, bro, and you on live with me right now, follow right. me, bro. My, my information no, no. right there. Hit me right. up, bro, because I'm always down to get some work, bro. You feel yeah. me? We can't do no large gatherings, but if y'all want to get a little quick at-home workout, we can hit the field. You know, I still got a quarterback around here that right. played professionally, and I still get it in with him. We get the routes in and everything. So if, if you ever want to get some work in, like like I'm saying, Damn. like I'm I'm free, bro. Hit my hit my you know what I mean. Follow me. Hit me on hit me in my DM, bro, and we can Damn. set something up. And it's uh it's crazy because I think when I first posted it. I had just did like a little graphic, of like you know, like a little screenshot of me going to your jump and hit and follow for real. So I was trying to get people to follow you back then as well, but I'm glad that you said that right now. Oh yeah, appreciate it for sure, bro. Like yeah. I, I'm still working, bro. I'm always still working. Like I'm trying to, I'm staying safe as best we can. You feel me? But right, Some, somebody got to do the work. Oh yeah, no matter what, somebody no got to do the work. No it's matter, gotta get, it's got to get done. So let me ask you this though, in terms of like for the younger guys, like I mean, because I got um, it's a couple like youth youth ballers in here, like you know how we played for four me, they don't even exist anymore, bro. Um, old Mill, I feel like that's that's kind of the team that has, you know, what a four me player would be. We would basically play for Old Mill. Okay. And so, it's a lot of them. They 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 be in in these lives. They be in the chats, et cetera, so forth. And so. Um, in terms of them going into high school, bro, like how should they prepare, you know, their skills? I mean, would you, you got any, you know, just any I mean, just, you ain't never really going to know. I didn't know what to expect going into high school. You feel me? I went in. Right. You remember, I played, we played quarterback at quarterback. for me. Yeah. And then I get to Arundel and I'm a receiver and I had never really played receiver. So, like, right. you don't really know what to expect. Like, you can kind of have a feel, maybe. 
But just just go in like with an open mind and be in shape. That's that's the best advice I can give you. Because once you get there, coaches going to see different things. It's a bunch of different people, you know, from, you. from Fort Me, Old Mill, like Severin, everybody coming around. So they're going to place you where they want to place you. So just right. just have that open mind. Don't go in and just say, I'm this. all right, they, they, they did this, so now I don't want to play or I'm going to go somewhere else. Like, it's – Stick it out, bro. Just stick it out. Everybody go through it. You're not the only one that's going through it. And that's what I said. I, I was going thinking I was playing quarterback and kind of find out we got Billy Kosh. You know what I mean? Yeah. Best quarterback in the state. Like He's going to light him up. He's going to light it up. So, hey, hey I ain't going to lie, bro. So, it's crazy because I um I was thinking about him, Billy Kosh, bro. And the yeah. reason why is because, bro, like, I, have you been following any of the high school, like, standings out here? And no. Uh, no, nah, not not too much. I ain't really right. been on top of it. So this is what happened. Let me just give you a, just a quick rundown. So South River was dogging it. You know, they was dogging everybody out here. Like, uh, basically, they averaged like forty three points a game this season. Something insane. And it out. They is my man David Faust. He's ended out to the guy I just told you was going to Maryland. Uh, Sean Leonard. They both going to Maryland. Okay. And they had the leading rusher in the county also. Delvin, shout out, shout out you, man. He was balling as well. Now the thing is, <clears throat> they um, you know, they was balling and, and Arundel knocked them out. So it's like you know, back you know back 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 to back to your your you know, your armor for real. Right, right. That's Arundel for you, bro. You know, yeah, you got exactly. the dollars out there too for real. Can't came the ball for real. They came the ball. So um. You know, I I just wanted to kind of just give you a little rundown on that as well. Yeah, that's why. That's what's up. Yeah, cause uh, David Faust, bro, look him up, bro. He he's lighting it up, bro. Okay. That, that quarterback, bro. He he just won. I forget what the you know the the big award for real for the I don't even know what it for the county was. like offensive player of the year or something like that. Yeah, it's some one of them awards, bro. But okay. he was lighting it up, bro. I'm telling you. He's going to Maryland next year too, huh? He's going to Maryland too. Okay. That's major, bro. Two yeah. people for the same team going D one like that? Hey bro, I'm telling you. That's big time. I'm, but um, you know, I just kind of tell the boys to holler at me, bro, if they want to get some work, bro. Hey they, bro, I'm I'm <laughs> sure I'm sure Sean's in here, but I'm gonna send I'm gonna send him like, you know, I'm gonna send him your stuff and all that. And yeah, then you know, vice versa, et cetera, so forth. Yeah. But but yeah, man, I just wanted to, you know, just holler at you. Kind of get a, uh, you know, just touch base, bro. Like, you know, just chat with you. I call these think tanks. So, okay, no, that's it's live. Bro. I appreciate it, bro. Like, I, I like this. I like being in a spot where I can kick some knowledge back and show kids like it's so many different avenues, so many different routes. Everybody got different paths, and just because like everybody think NFL or nothing, like it's it's other leagues, it's CFL, it's XFL. You go overseas, like it's yeah. plenty of places to to show who you are as an athlete and as a player, and you can still get paid to do it. Like, right. it don't got to be just the, you know, NBA, NFL, MLB. It's so, it's, it's different leagues. It's a ton of different paths out there. And don't be, don't be afraid. Don't be so narrow-minded that you, you miss out on a great opportunity. So, right. That's, that, that's my piece to get to all the young boys, but just keep grinding. Don't let nobody outwork you. Just, just know you ain't going to outwork me. <laughs> 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 to let him know, bro. I can't it, bro. Man, look, man, I, I don't have any more um questions or anything like that for you. But like I said, you know, I just appreciate you for, you know, joining us on this. Um, This is good, you know. This yeah, is for sure, bro. No, this was dope, bro. This is yeah. Dope. Bro. Anytime, bro. Holler at me, bro. Let me get some of that. Let me get some of that gear, too, bro. You feel me? Oh, yeah. No matter no what, bro. <laughs> Got to promote, bro. It's crazy because I don't know if you've seen any of the photos or anything like what. Well, I, I don't have them on. I don't think I had any of them like on my page or nothing. But a lot of the guys they got uh they got the towels. You know how y'all wear the towel, football yeah. towel? Yeah, so yeah. Got, yeah, so we got the towels out. Okay. Yeah. We had the sleeves and the uh you know the leg stuff as well. So bro, you feel me, bro? I'm always gonna show love, bro. Let me get some of that and you feel yes, me? Sir. Throw it up, bro. Most definitely. Yes, sir. I'm ready, bro. I, I appreciate you, bro. Holla at me, bro. Yes, sir. I'll holla at you, boy. Appreciate it. Right. Yes, sir. So that was my man RJ, bro. Um, you know, we 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 go way back, and 
I'm glad that y'all joined in. Like, it, you know, it was sweet. Hopefully, uh, you picked up some knowledge. And, you know, I had to pin that tweet. I'm going to make sure I send that to him also. She was definitely with him shooting in the gym. Yeah, shorty, you know what I'm saying? Free game. You know what I mean? But, man, I appreciate y'all. I'm out of here. Next time.